Hi, in this last uh, keynote of the Nepata Digital Summit on uh, Friday afternoon, I want to share some thoughts about uh, one of our new projects, the automatic role warehouse system for role media. Um, unfortunately, um, there's uh, not much more to visualize this at the moment than this uh, nice roll-up display. Um, I will share within that uh, uh, keynote, once uploaded to YouTube, I will share um, some of the uh, animation clips that we have about the system. But for now, I only want to share those basic thoughts with you. Um, for a couple of years, we have already been thinking about um, adding a higher level of optimization to the range of equipment that we offer for uh, converting. Um, and it was obvious that the, the storage and the um, pickup and delivery of rolls to the machines and back to the warehouse is uh, one of the big things to um, tackle in terms of de increasing the level of uh, optimization and productivity among uh, converting operation. And uh, so we've had these ideas for quite some time to um, to create a um, robot warehouse like this. And uh, about one year ago, we started a cooperation with a um, company from Scandinavia for um, which has been focusing on gantry robot and industrial robot uh, logistic solutions for decades already. So um, we've uh, together, we've created this concept of um, making uh, um, a gantry robot system to store rolls in a vertical position on spigots and to let the robot distribute those rolls to um, a certain amount of trolleys where the operator of an Ipata um, converting machine can grab one of those trolleys and bring the rolls he needs for his next um, orders to the machine and then the remaining rolls from those orders back into the robot system. There's um, this, what we call the, the um, big warehouse system for, uh, consisting of this gantry robot. And there is another idea to make it for smaller warehouses um, with an industrial robot, with a KUKA robo robot, um, which um, then has a, not a, this rectangular setup, but a circular setup. And the central robot will grab um, items from uh, from around its installation. And so here we're looking at a roll space um, from about, uh, roll spaces from about 2,000 to 4,000 rolls with the gantry robot and about 600 to 800 for an industrial robot solution. And the, um, so the, the capacity varies because the size of the, um, gantry system can be adopted to your specific needs. So there is a something like a standard setup of about um, eight meters by 14 meters, but we can change those sizes um, according to um, what fits uh, in your building or um, area that's dedicated to the converting storage. Um, and uh, the other thing why the capacity is not fixed is because we have um, areas for several um, diameter ranges of rolls. You might see here that these are fairly small roll diameters. Then we have medium ones and larger ones. So uh, in other terms, it's rolls up to 10 meters, rolls up to 25 meters, and rolls up to 50 meters. And we try to um, pack them as compact as possible. So that's why. Um, this distribution of uh, the roll diameters is uh, very important for the overall capacity of the system. This is something we need to figure out um, with uh, our potential customers to see what do they need from maximum diameter to uh, minimum diameter to see how many rolls we can get in this area here. Um, I already said that the idea is to uh, let the robot um, put the rolls on all those trolleys. The operator um, grabs the rolls to convert 
um, the jobs he has on order. Um, of course, this all needs to be connected with uh, not only with the Nepata machines, but our Convert Plus 2 software. So once an order is imported in our software, we can send out the information already to the robot to prepare um, the roles and to sort those roles on the trolleys by order. So it's not confusing for the operator which roles are for which order and um, then on the way back of course those roles um, get scanned into the system again and then um, are being stored somewhere um, and of course the the um, control software of the robot system itself does an ABC analysis so the um, items or roles it needs more often get placed in the very front so the travel uh, distance is lower and the items that are not needed as often are being put in the in the back of um, the the roll area and in case after a, a shift or a day the order of roles needs to be optimized again then the robot can do this potentially at night or any other idle time of the day where it's not needed to um, help with the uh, distribution of material. The um, system has a very high capacity in terms of roles that can be um, picked from the system and um, distributed to the machine operators. Um, we're looking at numbers of 800 to 900 um, cycles per eight hour shift. So this is, um, so from what we know, the, uh, how many lines our customers typically ship per day. This is a very high um, total capacity for most of our sufficient for most of our um, customers. And depending on the size of the system, this number varies a little. But this again is uh, subject to individual discussion of um, your uh, application. Besides the distribution of the roles needed f at the machines to to uh, be converted. Of course, the system also needs new roles to be loaded into the system. And here also the robot software can help to suggest uh, what roles or what kind of material might need an um, filling up uh, raw material, um, which then can be done at the time of the day where it's not uh, where the staff at the warehouse is not under pressure for sending out shipments, but could be, for example, in the morning that someone takes the, the suggestion list from the, from the robot software and then just loads um, new material into the system at a time where there's not much else uh, to do at this point and not when, when everyone is uh, trying to get shipments out of the door. The handling of the material is basically contactless, so that means that the robot is uh, hardly touching the um, surface of the films and uh, not like when being used in a normal shelf. There's no um, pushing rows over shelves or uh, in within boxes or taking them out of boxes and carrying them around on carts and things like that. It's, it's a contactless system. We only add a small, um, uh, something like a felt covered finger from the, onto the outside of the outer layer because we want to prevent the outer layers of the film to telescope while the robot is lifting them up. So that's the only point where we uh, ever touch the outside of um, the, the actual material surface uh, within the robot system. The control system also gives you full control over your uh, inventory at any time. So the, the system always knows what total amount of uh, material is in stock, which rolls um, have how many meters on them. So. Uh, it doesn't only know that it's 200 meters of white film, but exactly how many rows of white with how many meters on them. And um, with th this information, it can do many things. For example, when um, you have a job for a 10 meter wide roll, it can make sure that always that the oldest roll is picked from the total number of rows that 
uh, are stored of this kind of media and it always can pick the one that suits the target length best to avoid uh, very small rest rolls. So this is a big advantage then um, uh, as you don't want to have rolls on stock for too long the system can also suggest which rolls um, have to be put on sale or have to be put disposed uh, have to be disposed at some point so also there it can make um, suggestions based on the um, data and uh, then even by just accepting uh, this in the um, in the software the robot can start and getting all those old and very small rolls out um, so you can use them either for sale or disposal or whatever so there's a, a large level of control over the material over the data and um, of course all sorts of individual solutions are possible just uh, and that's something we need to uh, talk about to understand your application and how we can make our system suit that application the best possible way so to wrap this up a little um, an automatic roll warehouse can save you a lot of cost in the area of non-value adding work and um, hard work that needs to be done for carrying rolls around your warehouse. Um, the robot is always motivated and always slept well and never is on holiday and never sick. He uh, can uh, always pick the right rolls from the uh, from the total number of roles um, and helps you to improve your converting business. Um, it's a good fit to our uh, Nepata equipment, to our Nepata machines and software solutions. Um, both systems are fully integrated. Our project partner is a company with over 20 years of experience. Um, these, uh, the construction of both the gantry robot and also the industrial robot are built to last. You can expect a lifetime from over 15 years um, of this system and there are already uh, similar systems in the field that run uh, for more than 20 years. So um, you can expect uh, more than those 15 actually. Um, there is a, in uh, in Denmark, there is a system uh, fairly similar to what we're doing here with handling rolls. A um, bit of a different um, kind of product, but from the technical point of view, it's very similar. Um, that's already installed and there's uh, the general possibility to uh, go and see that system live. Um, so um, at a certain point of a project, if we start working together on this, we can um, even go and see the system uh, live and have a closer look at the basic technology and everything. So um, we are prepared to um, receiving your questions and inquiries about uh, this to, in order to learn more um, about your um, requirements in terms of size and um, diameter distribution and roll height and uh, um, anything to prepare a real concept and project for you. Um, and also, if you have any uh, basic questions, just uh, send us an email or give us a call at any time. Um, thank you for watching today and attending Nepata Digital Summit um, in 2020 throughout the uh, corona pandemic. Um, stay safe um, and enjoy your weekend nonetheless. Bye-bye.